Number seven. Compile time warnings will help you avoid when others then null. So, so you might have heard of Tom Kite, one of the most famous Oracle database experts, and he hates when others then null or variations that swallow up your error. For example, when others then display the error message. Pretty clearly, if you do not re-raise an exception coming out of an exception handler, then the outer block that invoked the block that had the error will never know that an error occurred, and your users, yourself, will not know that an error occurred, and it could make it really hard to fix problems in your code. In general, you should log the error in your exception handler and then re-raise it. Sure, there are times when you don't want to do this. For example, I'm, I've built a function that fetches a single row for a primary key or unique index value. And if there's no row for that key, it's not an actual data error. It means, you know, there's nothing there yet. It's an application error. So in that case, I might want to return null to indicate that the value or the row is not yet there. So there are reasons when you might want to do a variation of when others then null, but it often it's a mistake in your code and it will lead to problems. One way to handle this situation is to turn on compile time warnings and have the PLSQL compiler automatically warn you of situations where you have a when others clause that does not contain a raise or raise application error invocation. Let's take a look on live SQL. So I put together a script to demonstrate how you can automatically detect exception handlers that swallow up errors and even set it up as a compiler error so when you have the situation, your code won't even compile. In my first statement, I alter my session setting my PLSQL warnings, my compile time warnings, so that 6009, which is the, the, when others handler does not end in raise or raise application error, should be treated as a hard compile error, not a warning. In statement two, I've got a function that returns ABC, and it has a one others clause that says, well, let's also return ABC. And as you see, because I've turned on warnings and set that warning as an error, I get an actual compile time error. It's a PLS instead of PLW 6009. Your others handler does not end in raise or raise application error. In statement three, I now replace my return statement with a raise statement and I no longer get the error. And also notice that I can put a raise application error and I get the same result. My function does compile without errors or in your case, it would more likely be without warnings. So the bottom line is that you should avoid when others clauses that swallow up errors and do not propagate the exception back out of the current block of code. And one of the ways to make sure that you've bulletproofed your code regarding this concern is to turn on warnings and especially make sure that you're flagging 6009 and you might even flag it as a hard compile error.